Well, good morning. We're doing a series called Neology. We're trying to learn some basic things about prayer. So we're going to look at five pieces here, five things that will help us get started in our prayer experience. So number one, Isaiah 44 verse 3 can help us. For I will pour water on him who is thirsty and floods on the dry ground. Friend, we need to feel, we want to feel our need of help by God. Do we feel thirsty? Do we really want God's intervention. So then we want to look at a second one, and it's found at Psalm 66, verse 18. Uh, we need to make sure when we approach God, we should be aware that we have righted all known wrong. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. So if there's any sin issue between you and God, you want to be right about that first. Don't expect for your prayers to be answered if you're, you're playing a game with God. Get serious. Another thing, if you have an issue with a brother or a sister, another believer, or even just another person, the Bible says, and Jesus teaches in Matthew 5, if you're on your way to worship and you remember the Holy Spirit brings to your mind, there's an issue between you and another person. Stop, leave your gift right where, you, where it is, go find that person and get right with them. Try to get into a, a, a clarification with them. Settle any differences you have that might impede your walk with God. Right all known wrongs. And then when you come to God in prayer, you can come with great confidence. A third item is the exercise of faith. Hebrews 11 and verse 6 says this, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Impossible is kind of, a, kind of an item to pay attention to there. We want to believe that God is ready to bless us, but he's, he's wanting us to stretch out and exercise faith toward him. So do we believe that he, he wants to help us? Well, we should believe that. We should come to him with that belief. We, do we believe he's ready to reward us? He wants to help us draw close. Of course he does. So let's come to him with that approach in mind. Another thing we want to do is to cultivate a spirit of love and forgiveness. Cultivate a spirit of love and forgiveness. And a simple uh, pattern for this is found in, in Matthew 6 in the Beatitudes, verse uh, verses 18. And we have uh, this simple statement from the Lord's Prayer. For, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So we should go to God and we should have things settled with other people and with God. Uh, we should come with a spirit of forgiveness in our hearts. There was an incident in the Bible where uh, there was a person that was owed a tremendous amount of money. He was forgiven that extraordinary debt. But then he went out and he was totally unreasonable. He went to somebody who owed him five bucks. And he just about choked the guy, said, pay me now. As you can imagine, that was not a spirit of love and forgiveness. And things worked out very poorly for that person. So let's come to God with the right spirit. Another thing we want to do is come with a, we want, to be, we want to be persevering in prayer, persevering in prayer. In Romans 12, verse 12, Paul is listing a set of uh, items he wants to see. And among those things, he goes to verse 12, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. If you're going to pray about it today and maybe pray about it three days later or maybe pray about it six days later and you expect to get the kind of answers you're looking for, probably not going to see it. We need to be steadfast. We want to be praying to him every day. And God will come through for us. He wants to bless us. So let's expect it and let's be persistent. Come every day. If it means something to you, if you want God's answer, come to him every day. Be a persisting, continuing in prayer. So here are five helps, five quick helps to getting started. Uh, it's the right spirit, the right attitude when we approach the God of all creation. In fact, let's approach him now. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for hearing our prayers. Uh, we're just learning. Many of us are just learning and, and still have been a Christian a long time, still learning. I know that's the case for myself. Lord, we pray that you will help us to have the right pieces, the right spirit as we come towards you, the right attitude. And so, Lord... Please help us to learn how to pray. Help us in our neology, our kneeling before you in prayer. In Jesus' name, we give thanks to you. Amen. God be with you today as you begin your day with these five pieces to getting ourselves in the right spirit when we approach the King of the Universe.